Hi everyone. This video is going to be about creativity and how you can improve your creativity and imagination abilities. We are all naturally creative in our own way. We each have our own unique way of expressing ourselves creatively. However, those in creative fields such as art, crafts, design, film, photography, and music are often seen as more creative since they express themselves in a way that is often not seen replicated by others. However, we, we are all creative in our own right. We just have to tap into it. First and foremost, creativity is not something you can force. In other words, it just happens and comes to you without effort. This is what holds many people back from uh, their full potential. They try to be creative and do something unique. Yet those that have uh, mastered how to channel their cre creativity know it just comes to them. It may often start as a small idea that comes to them, perhaps in a dream, during meditation, or during any relaxing scenario, like many good ideas may come when taking a shower, for example. Uh, after that initial idea, more things begin to, to stack up on it, and the picture that is being mentally envisioned becomes clearer and clearer. And they can uh, add more details to it so it makes more sense and then proceed to uh, create, design, or manifest that idea that they have in their mind. Relatedly, creativity is about flow. It's about allowing ideas and thoughts to flow through you while watching from an unbiased point of view. You cannot necessarily control creative energy that is flowing through you, so you have to observe it and analyze it to start forming the ideas. The most important ones may stick with you. Uh, let me create an example now. Imagine it is snowing outside. The snow represents the creative ideas uh, flowing through your mind. You can choose to ignore it and try to stop it by doing something else, or you can go into the snow or creative energy. As the snow is falling around you, let's say you want to keep a few ideas. Well, if you are looking into the sky and trying to catch a snowflake that, that you want and have your eye on, you will oftentimes not be able to catch it and instead catch a bunch that you simply do not want. If instead you, you put your hands out and let snowflakes or creative ideas come to you and land on, on your hands, and those are the ones that you would be able to work the best with and develop into something creative and unique. Another thing to note is that creativity can come and go in cycles or intervals. You may be feeling creative one day and then completely drained the following day. The cycle can be quite rapid. Uh, speaking from personal experience, my creative energy comes and goes. Uh, one moment I will be super creative and be able to get a lot of creative work done. Then I will be burnt out and not really able to work on anything. And when I try, it simply doesn't come out well. This is where I take a break and recharge myself. Next, when the uh, creative ideas start to come to you, write them down. Many times uh, all these ideas were, will come to you and you may forget them if you don't document them. It can and will happen spontaneously. Uh, think of it as waking up from in the morning from a dream. It will be the freshest in your mind right after you wake up and will fade shortly thereafter. So when you have an idea, have uh, some uh, method of keeping track of it. Uh, you can make a note on paper, on your computer or mobile device using a note-taking system or even uh, using a voice memo application to actually uh, just talk and record creative thoughts as they are flowing through you. Next, have some way of expressing yourself and allowing your creativity to flow. If you don't uh, do anything that will let that creativity out, you will simply not be expressing your creativity and utilizing your creative energy. When you find something you enjoy that comes naturally to you, whatever that is, then you will know it immediately since it will feel natural to you. Find things that will allow you to let go and allow thoughts to flow. On a personal note, some ways I let my ideas and creativity out is through various forms of art. 
I can't say I actually uh, draw much, but I do love drawing and would like to do more. I'd rather not waste paper, so a, a tablet would help me, but I currently do not have one. However, I think my creativity uh, comes into play when editing photos. Usually when I edit a photo, I will just go with whatever and experiment. I never go into it with an idea of what it should look like, but rather what just happens. I love editing photos that turn into uh, funny, silly pictures. I, uh, I've created uh, some really weird and funny photos and no one knows what to expect since it's completely random and spontaneous. Another way I let my imagination run wild and creativity out, uh, come out is when listening to music. I love to listen to uh, songs, uh, close my eyes, and create a music video for the song. I've uh, created uh, some really awesome music videos in my mind that I would love to see turned into reality. I let my imagination wander, and after a short amount of time, I see the image unfold before me. I, uh, it can be very vivid and detailed too, and I remember all of it and can replay it in my mind when hearing the song again. Lastly, your diet, such as the foods and drinks you consume, as well as medications, can impact your creativity and ability to imagine as well. By eating an unhealthy diet, your ability to concentrate and visualize will be hindered. Relatedly, certain medications like antidepressants and antipsychotics, what have you, will change how you think. Many people that are creative report not being able to be creative when on medication. No matter how much uh, you let go and allow the flow of creativity to come into you, it simply will not happen when you are taking certain medications or you have a bad diet. On a similar note, there tends to be a link between creativity and mood disorder. So many creative and productive people tend to uh, have a form of bipolar disorder. During both the manic and depressive state, there can be different forms of creative energy. For instance, someone who is uh, a painter will have different styles of artwork when in a manic phase versus a depressive one. Regardless, the, uh, this change in mood is not a negative thing unless it gets severe to the point of it negatively impacting the person's life. So you have to determine if you want to be creative or medicated. So, let me know how you express yourself creatively. I love to know the creative mediums people use to express themselves. Maybe it's makeup, drawing, music, or something else entirely. How do you imagine and visualize? What fantasies go through your mind? Uh, feel free to share. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was informative and helpful.